past weekend, actually yesterday, an incredible rescue operation uh, was underway at the Kimberley Hole. One of the biggest, it's actually the biggest man-made or man-dug hole in the world. Of course, uh, belonging to the De Beers company of uh, diamond owners. Um, and uh, this was an incredible story to have this dog rescued from the hole after how many days, they say? But now people joke and they say not a lot happens in Kimberley. There, a dog is stuck in what is believed for five days swimming at the bottom of the hole. Now, nothing can actually get to him. And yesterday when I read on Twitter that the operation was a success, we all wanted to ask questions and know more about it. So, John Seedy, He's on the line. He's a warrant officer for SAPS, giving us some details on what went down and to literally combat or uh, dismiss all the myths that we heard to just make sure that we get the real story. John, good morning. Can you hear us? Good morning. I can hear you. Okay, perfect. What are the theories? I mean, how long was the dog actually in the hole and how did people get to him? Uh, well, uh, we were contacted on uh, Friday morning at around about 8 o'clock for the first time. We were informed and given information that there was a, a dog that was stuck down in the in the open mine. And uh, we immediately responded to the call. And so how so many... According, sorry, go on. Yeah, carry on, John. Uh, so according to me and according to information that we received, the dog uh, had been in since last week, Friday. Oh, sure. But oh, uh, I think this is all speculation. I don't really think anybody is 100% certain of when the dog actually fell into the hole. John, how did he get into the hole? Why is he there? Uh, to me, that is still a mystery. So, uh, John, tell me about how, how many people were actually involved in this operation and, and what exactly did it take, manpower-wise and all the equipment you had to put in to actually get this operation successful? Well, uh, well the K-9 search and rescue team, my rescue team, uh, search and rescue team that involves, includes the divers, uh, ER24 members and uh, uh, people from the Beers Mining uh, Group, their safety officers of their engineers, all got involved in this amazing rescue attempt. And please, no, no, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm, I'm just curious. How did you actually get him out? Because I see people climbing down to actually get to him. Well, uh, this was this was a, a very difficult rescue. Uh, it started at half past nine Friday morning when we first dropped down into the hole for the first rescue attempt. We only uh, returned back to solid ground at six o'clock the next, uh, the, 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 the same evening. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact that the problem was uh, there were difficulties. We could not find, because of the, uh, the ground being so unstable, we could not find uh, solid anchor points to secure uh, uh, ropes. So that you can actually drop down, we call we, in Kimberley we call that second level the ring. Wow. That is a solid rock face dropping into the water. So we had to we had to find uh, solid uh, anchor points before we could even attempt a rescue. And Friday evening, six o'clock when we, we we came out, at that stage we still couldn't determine a safe place to anchor ropes so that you can actually descend into the hole. John, just quickly, where's the dog now? The dog is at the moment, he's at uh, a veterinary services, okay. being treated. dog is very tired still. I think he's still a bit traumatized, yeah. uh, scared of the whole event. But I was by him last night at about, or this, yesterday afternoon at about four o'clock, mm -hmm. and the dog is recovering well. Uh, he's, looking, he's looking healthy. Still, as I say, he's a bit tired. And I'll be visiting him this morning to see how he's doing. Fantastic. Well, John, thank you very much for your time and uh, giving us uh, insights and details into this great thank rescue operation. Thank you very operation. much. Thanks, That's Warrant John. Officer uh, John bye -bye. Seeley from the South African Police Service telling us about the rescue that took place uh, yesterday at the Kimberley Hole. Wow, and what, what a rescue if it was. And it just kind of inspires me. All our, of our emergency uh, workers out there, ER24s and all those, are really just so dedicated to saving lives. And I think that if we can take a leaf out of their book, an example of how they lead by example, in their duties. We can really go about changing this country in big ways, dude. Wouldn't you agree? Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable efforts by everyone involved. Uh, man's best friend. Oh. So if it was your friend, I'm sure you'd do the same thing, wouldn't yes. it? Yes. Most. Then a small four-legged friend created quite a stir by falling into the great hole in Kimberley. And of course, this activated a massive search and rescue um, scenario. And we've got to say that the South African um, Rescue Services 
did us proud. But what an amazing story yeah. around a dog. The fact that we were able to engage this to get this kind of um, story built around a little four-legged friend. That's very expressive. Katlejo and I joked earlier saying Kimberly is not known for much things other than the big horn. This time around, all attention focused on that. I mean, it was all over social networks over the weekend as we're all looking to how they will rescue this dog that we don't still don't know how it actually ended up in yeah. the hole. But uh, a lot of people spoke out about it, not just us on Twitter, but also someone that uh, is very close to dogs and also close to our music industry. Did you see... Uh, Kurt Darren getting involved? I heard that he was actually involved. In fact, that the dog was nicknamed Captain. Captain. And we have Kurt <laughs> on the line. Lekker Kurt, you gaan het bra. Lekker jelle. Baie, baie goed dankie. Dude, uh, so tell us about your involvement in this uh, rescue operation that took place in Kimberley this past weekend. Well, I must be honest with you. I mean, all the work was done by John Seeley and his team, you know, amazing human beings. I just saw it on Twitter. Um, I followed the story for a couple of days and I saw it on Twitter and I saw... Uh, I think it was Volksblatt and he tweeted that they needed help because uh, they hadn't had a sponsor for um, a helicopter for yes. the rescue mission. And then my wife immediately, we both just jumped in and said, 100%, just rescue the dog, we'll, we, you know, we'll sponsor the helicopter. And they tried the helicopter, they threw an Oryx from a, uh, a police chopper initially, but I think kind of hover over the hole. It couldn't get deep. It was at each other and he needed a much, much longer rope. Yes. So at the end of the day, I think what we actually did was more awareness than anything else, but we were there with a support team for all the time. And I think, you know, in a, in a, in a world that's filled with so many corruption and violence, whatever, I think this is just an amazing feel-good story of human beings. Just like a light. Uh, Kurt, uh, we can hear you at times, but we got the gist of that. Human beings getting involved. Ek wil weet, hoekom het jy betrokken geraak? Het jy honde van jou eie? Ons het definitief honde van ons eie. Ons het, uh, ons het ses verskillende honde. Jo! Ons het jy duizel, twee horsies, no, we, we be big animal lovers, and I'm an honorary game ranger of Sandbox, you know, so I, I, you know, I just like getting involved, you know, with yeah. uh, animals that can't help themselves. Do you know what inspires me most is that, you know, the fact that you saw the story and, and you and, and your lovely wife decided to just jump on board and, you know, respond to that call when it came. And, and I, th I think, you know, what, what do you think South Africans can draw from, from your example? I mean, what, what do you want to say to them about responding to that emergency call when it comes to be the first to say, hey, I will help? Well, in my capacity, I was able to help in, in my kind of way. And yeah. I think any South African in their own cap capacity can help in some way, you know, with anything, you know, just to yeah. make, make, make the world a, a better place and make it more positive, you know. You know, you don't have to have a lot of money to be able to help. Mm. It's just, a, a, you know, you're just in a position where you can and then just go for it, you know. It, it, it'll just, it, it just makes you a better person and you just, you just feel great at the end of the day. Yes, thank you, bro. Like him so much.